Welcome back to Barricade Rides, videos for motorcycle enthusiasts. Super stoked for today's video. We're installing the Flow Motorsports touring levers today. So let's roll that intro and get right into it. Install the Flow MX style brake levers. So on the back it says MX style brake levers. On the fly adjustable levers, lever reach made from durable 6061 aluminum manufactured to tight tolerances to specifically fit OEM perch. Quality hardware throughout the design. Laser engraved flow logos and they're sold as a set. So you buy them you get both levers. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. It's in this cool package right here. So this is what they look like. Adjustable right here. So just twist it and it pull it further out, closer to whatever your preference is. So that was the clutch. This one's the brake. So it's got the logo. Pretty cool. So same thing, adjustable. So we're gonna install them. And I'll let show you step by step on how to do it. All right, gonna remove the mirror so I have room to work. Remove this pin right here. I don't have the bottom piece in. I lost it. I get, I'm gonna go to Harley and pick up a new one. Uh, and next, I want to take these off with Torx. All right, now I'm gonna use the Torx to remove. This, the housing. Now I got that out. So there's the lever. I'll go ahead and do a quick comparison. So it's the new lever, the old lever. So there's nothing wrong with these Bagger Brothers ones. I have no issues with them. I just wanted something a little bit more, uh, a little bit nicer, and you could say.
And unlike many levers, these will actually come with instructions. And then stickers, love stickers. So on the brake side, the smaller one goes right there. And this goes right back in there. Oh, went ahead and put that in already. And make sure it hits the actuator. All right, so we're good there. I'll go ahead and put this piece on. So right now I'm tightening up the clamp that holds this on. And real quick, my Arlen S on the end of the grips isn't perfectly lined up. So I'm gonna just pull it off and put it on there the way I want it to. Perfect. I'll go ahead and install the top one. Just go in hand tight. And then the bottom one same thing so that way I can adjust everything to where I want it Got these two uh, clamps holding it together nice and snug. And now I'm gonna do the, the casing. Right where I want it. It's a little close, so. Let's see which way I gotta go, okay. So going up, I'm gonna pull it out, boom. Oh, and it really nice for one finger it's gonna make burnouts so much easier the next thing i want to do is put the mirror back on all right brake lever that easy the trickier one's going to be the clutch now we're on to the clutch so starting off the same spot I'm going to remove the mirrors. This one still has the piece. In. So my trick to get these off is to uh, get the Get these on it, get the holes in, get it in the holes, like that, and then push up on this to get it out of there. So this is a Washington bike, so there's a little bit of corrosion. This is all getting replaced, hopefully soon. I want to get some nice powder coated ones. And Batsy misplaced my other Allen, so I'm using my park tool. I use this one on my BMX. It's got all the same sizes, so I still get the job done. Now time torques. Now I want to put a reminder out there. I am not a mechanic, so if I can do this, so can you guys, or gals. All right, got this out, so I'm gonna just pump, push this up, and that's gonna come right off. So that's the other lever. So we got this right here, so that just goes right in there. Put this in, and Wiggle it in good. Okay, so now it's or almost there. So there's 
two holes you gotta get it in. Takes a little finagling. Just a little pry on there. There. It goes right in. And it's gonna get installed right back there. So once I get this moderately tight, then I'm gonna move on to the little screws. Got the one right here. Uh, while it's in there, I'm gonna get this pin put in as well. So now that's in place. I'm going to do the mirror. So once I get everything in there, I'm going to sit on my bike, make sure it feels right, and then button everything up. So we've got that in. Last piece before I button up, I'm going to put this on. I'll get in there on this good. Alright, first try. So this side, I want to go down just a little bit. So without me tightening it all the way up right there. Now I can adjust it. All right, there you have it, lever install. I'm gonna wait a week to post this video because I wanna give you guys a proper review. So within that week, I'll probably put about two, 300 miles on my bike. And after this, after the week, I'll film and let you guys know what I think of these and give you a proper review. So see you shortly. Super stoked on these levers. I absolutely love them. I can adjust them for the different sizes. So what, how they're going to work great with me is when I'm wearing my winter gloves, I'm going to be able to adjust them into the right spot as well as when I'm in my summer gloves. I absolutely love them. Really easy to install. And remember, I'm not a mechanic. So if I can do it, so can you. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all the support. And as always, brothers and sisters, stay safe and ride your ride. Mm -hmm.